Oh Lord, my God. So uh, let's get started, dear saints. Yep. You set. You set. I'm ready. Okay, so we're, ready. we're going to set it sail. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this letter says, "Hello, doctor. How are you doing today?" Blessings of God be well, with I'm you, Well, I'm fine. <laughs> I hope I'm fine. I hope I'm fine. I was almost giving up on Christianity and Ooh. considering Islam in my mind. No. When I came across your preaching online with that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's stop that one. <laughs> I was almost giving up on Christianity. Yes. And uh, considering, Islam. considering Islam. Let's let, let's face it again. Let me also uh, use this opportunity to talk to everybody that is interested in the questions of Islam Christian because this lady or this man, whoever is writing this letter, is um, raising this issue again. And I see that this is a very important issue for Nigerians and um, for people on this platform too. Because the, I had a conversation with Daddy Freeze the last time. Yeah. And many people have taken that conversation to the extreme. There is one guy they call Crying Prophet that is now doing video, live videos to attack me and Daddy Freeze, saying that I don't believe that only through Jesus one could be saved that I, I was saying in that program with that phrase that Jesus is not the only way, that Islam, Muslim, Islam, Muslim, you know, that is the same way, that just like that the phrase was saying. I said, you know, I don't know how people hear, but what I was trying, and people are writing me personally, Pastor, how could you do that? I said, hey, look, go listen to the program. I was trying to convince that the phrase, and I was trying to convince him that no, because that is basically what Pastor Daddy Freeze was trying to say, that, you know, as long as you believe in one God and you do love, you love and, uh, you know, that you will go to the kingdom of God. So I was trying to convince him that, no, if you love, love will take you to Christ. That you can, you can you know, you can get to, salve, you to be saved through love. But that love is still Christ. He said, I'm life. He is still Christ. And that truth, you can get me to be saved through the truth, but that truth is still Christ. So no matter how you twist it, you are still going to be saved only through Christ. So I want people to, you know, invite people. And I have my own arguments why, uh, not just my own argument, biblical arguments, but w and also my own research, why I can prove that. I don't, I, cannot ju I don't just know how to prove that Islam is not the way to salvation, but I can, by the time I'm done with my Islamic <laughs> research, by the time I do my own series on Islam, I am not even saying that Christians should be looking forward or unbelievers should be looking to Islam for salvation. I'm saying even the ones who are born Islamic or Muslim people, that even they, if they have sense, nobody would like to remain a, a, a Muslim again by the time I'm done. So I'm not saying, there is no way I could be saying that, that I have proofs in my hand that Chris is, Islam is not the way to salvation and that even the Muslims in our country will turn their back by the time they finish listening to me. And then... He, all of a sudden, I'm saying there is no difference. No, if there had been no difference, then Jesus wouldn't have come because the Jews were serving the same God. But that the, the law and the service they were having, you know, their attempts to please God didn't work out. They, nobody could. The whole essence of the New Testament is that there were so many attempts in the Old Testament to please God, different ways. And all those different ways are the, the same ways that is the Jews are still applying today. They are the same ways that Islamic people are still Islam people are still applying today. And they will fail. The only way to salvation is Messiah. Even in Islam itself, the word Messiah is repeated more times than the word uh, Muhammad. You know, so Messiah, the concept of Messiah is the only that and that is Jesus. That's the only way for salvation. So when people, and I see there is one Nigerian guy, a Muslim cleric, Adepojo or something like that, Adepojo, Adepojo, Adepojo something, one Yoruba name, who, uh, he's, he's a Muslim priest, and he's always converting Christians. And he will go and do a television program, I think Adepojo or so, and he will be bringing testimonies of people who were pastors before, and they will be confessing why they moved to Christian to Islam. You don't know that guy. I, I've seen the video, but I don't yeah, know. So name. many. I mean, yeah. he's a popular guy, and every week he's bringing in new Christians, even pastors who are leaving Christianity to Islam. And it is because of him, and f for I mean, more than uh, more than that, but one of the reasons. Yeah, one of the reasons why I'm going to do it that 
Christians have to know that Islam is not one option. So that is what I was trying to prove to that phrase, that no, 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 we don't just get saved without Christ. There is no way, salvation without Messiah. That is the whole concept. Even though we serve the same God, yes, that I said, we serve the same God, but, but that God that we were serving, the, person, the people who were serving him most were the Jews, pe Jewish people. They were serving him even more passionately than Islam or us. But that couldn't even save them. That's why Jesus came with the, I mean, God came with the concept of Messiah. And I have a whole uh, teaching, when I was teaching about love, when I, re I, I illustrated it that all the attempts that were made by God to save man, but the only one that will work is, is, uh, is Christ. So this uh, message here, that she was considering Islam, is heartbroken to me. Because it means that our people are not informed. And that is why, by the grace of God, you know, I'm going to try, when I finish this series about how to know God, I'm going to, there's a lot, there's some other series that I want to do. Maybe I was thinking that I would do this Islam series maybe in five years' time. But the way I'm looking at it now, I might have to, you know, quicken this whole thing and do the Islam series maybe next year. Because this particular series will take me till next year and before I finish. Uh, but I have to do it fast because Christians have to know the truth that I know about Islam. Even Muslims themselves have to know. By the time they know it, they will know that Islam is no option. Now, there, it might be possible that there are bad pastors or bad churches, especially in Africa where you have paganistic pastors and paganistic uh, churches, and where there is basically no Christ-like churches, basically, in Nigeria. They are there, of course, they are there. You, we always have the 7,000 remnants. But apart from that, uh, the, the form of Christianity that people are advocating or promoting in Nigeria is not Christianity at all. So when people see that kind of Christianity, I will not blame this kind of lady or person that she wants to become a Muslim uh, because Muslim seems to be presenting a better picture. But you know, but you need to know the inside story about Islam. By the time you know the Isla, 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 inside story about Islam, I'm going to do it for like a month. Believe me. And you know me, I know the joke. By the time I finish anything that I'm researching on, I've been doing this research for three years. But for me, three years is small to study. I want to, by the time I study, by finish. In fact, the, the, the most important cleric there will be saying, ah, yeah, where is this guy coming from? That's the kind of way I do my, that's the way I do my own thing. But, um, yeah, I'm still studying this Islam question, but please, anybody that is considering that Islam, it could be a way to salvation. There is no way to salvation, only Christ. Not Christianity, but Christ. I don't believe that Christianity is the way to uh, salvation, too. No, that is religion. But it's Christ that is the way to salvation. And not Islam, too. And not Muhammad, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, DSA, for that explanation. I, I, I particularly listened on that day. Uh, you, you were yeah, watching that yeah, program? Yeah, I, I did. Okay. And so, uh, just like... Where the, are people coming from thinking that... And it's just like the every time there's a new level of knowledge revealed, even though the something has always been there, but so far it goes contrary to what they believe, many people, instead of trying to look at the surface matter, uh, to look at the thing as at value, value of what is being spoken about, they just oppose. It, they, there's a natural tendency to just oppose what is new. So impulsiveness. Yeah, impo that, that, yeah, that emotion. Because what you are saying is literally nothing new from what is in the Bible. What you're saying basically is that there are three monotheistic religions in the world. Yeah, and everybody knows that. They won't believe yeah. us, Yeah, so just three religions believe that there is one God. God. And those religions are Christianity, Islam, and you? Judaism. Mm -hmm. And the, both the biblical evidence and the Quranic evidence Point points to the, to the fact God. that this deity that they both, that the, the three of them are serving, is one same person. Torah, Torah two points. Yeah, the Torah is that of the, it's like Old Testament. That's, that's Torah. Mm -hmm. So that's why when you read the Quran, it's mostly the Old Testament, then the lives of, the life of Muhammad. Uh, a, a, a bit of the life of Jesus. So those Roman Empire uh, times. So really, what you said is that they have the same God, but you've not mentioned that it leads to salvation. Arguably, the question would be that what kind of God would say that because six billion people 
or let me say five billion people were not born in the region where Christianity is predominant, mm -hmm. then sent them to hell. We need to begin to question. So you know, it's selfishness, selfishness, egocentrism that makes us think. And myopic thinking. Yeah, that we are better than other people just because of the opportunity that we are. Who are great. I want you to think them. about it. You are just opportune to, to have a born in Nigeria and in the place where you're born and in circumstances that led to you being a Christian. You could have as well been a Muslim. You could have as well been born in India and all you will know is Hinduism. And through all of this, we've seen God, we've seen Christ revealing himself to people. We've seen Christ in numerous ways. Yesterday you were speaking with someone who was saying, while he Ooh, was in the mosque, Allah, that was powerful. he was speaking in that tongues. That means by but every week thing that I understood, he has received the baptism of the of Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Right in the mosque. Right in the mosque. So the whole concept becomes that when you're talking about the religious and historical setting of this religion, they all point to one God. Mm. But when you're talking about salvation, only one religion describes mm. the, in the fullness of its concept, what salvation. Is the religion, religion. And for a fact, the concept of salvation was not even understood by those who were following Jesus. Mm. Because they were born into the Judaistic settings. Mm. That's what they've known all their lives. Yep. It had to take God to separate a guy named Paul oh. and separate him from the rest to, for, to, to teach him fully what it means to be saved, if, mm. what it means, the works of Christ. Because if you realize, if you remember the first problem the church had before the, the Congress in Jerusalem, mm. it was that when they began to want so, uh, win souls for Christ now. They were winning souls for Christ. But the problem they were facing was that these guys have to be baptized into Judaism. They have to, we have <laughs> to, have to be circumcised. circumcised. <laughs> they have to obey all the Judaistic laws. And Even though they were supposed to be Christian. Yeah. And the argument then was, what makes them safe? Is this these Judaistic practices? All the, fun, all the finished works of, of Christ. Christ. Mm. The guy who, Phil, who God took Philip to, who God took Philip to, the Ethiopian. the Ethiopian, never for once understood what it meant to be a Jew. How did he meet Christ? Mm. By someone being able to explain to him the concept of salvation. So what you've really explained, and I hope, and you will explain further in the future is the breakdown of religion as an organization and then the concept of salvation as something that has been won and done and finished by the coming of one man hmm. that's why the bible says the, the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all oh men man. but i put it to you that religion has not appeared to all men hmm. Not even one religion has appeared to all men. Hmm. But the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. And that is why, in fact, sir, before I met the God of love, I met the love of God. Hmm. Beautiful. So many times when you are saying that people will show love and meet, go, come to God through love, I understand what that means. Hmm. When you say that God, um, people will come to Christ through truth, truth. Hmm. I understand what that means because the Bible says, he is full of grace and, and truth. He is the embodiment of grace and truth. So, when you now break down what is the concept of grace, when you break down what is the concept of truth, then you understand that truth is universal. Yep. Truth is not sectional. It's not what mm. just Christians believe. Mm. Truth is truth, irrespective of who agrees with it or not. When you say it is grace, there are three sets of people when, when we talk about grace. Huh? First set of people don't understand it at all. Second set of people understand it but think it applies to them alone. Those who understand the full concept of grace are those who understand that grace works for them, works for the next person, and works for even those who they do not see. Hmm. Because Amazing. that's what grace is. God's riches 
at Christ's expense. Mm. Not at your expense. You can be sanctimonious all you want to, but when you get to heaven, should you make it, I hope you do, mm. you will see imams there. Mm. You will see Buddhists there. You will see every... There will be so many surprises for you. You know why? Because God cannot be boxed by your ideology. Mm. Because the things you understand this year, you did not understand them last year. But it was truth, even though you did not understand it last year. Mm. And there are so many things that you've not understood now. You will not understand in, in 30 years, God keep your life till then. And they are still truth now, even though you do not understand them. So just like that man, that man that I spoke to yesterday, who got born again in the church yes. without even knowing. Without even knowing. And got baptized in the Holy Spirit without even knowing the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. And he thought even there was no religion again apart from Islam. And yet Jesus appeared to him. Because God, God works in ways that we cannot explain. God deals with people <laughs> in ways that we cannot categorize. God cannot be boxed by our human ideas. And that's why we are often frustrated. We just cannot define, explain, put God in some sort of uh, box. Uh, box, parameters. No, that's not God. God will go to India and in that, in the, in, in that oh, those monks and we relate with them. That is who God is. Christ will show himself to that most paganistic person. And you see, many of these sanctimonious people who don't even come down to listen, when you now explain to them what they are doing, any Yoruba person that calls God or Lord, or Lord or Lua, and still say Allah, is, is, bad. is, is bad. He's being hypocritical of the highest Of course, <laughs> of course. Because the whole concept of Oluwa, Olorun, we let do marry. Was it Jew? Is it Jewish? No. Or is it English? No. You will read a book called Ojo do Mary the Logun, which is the and divinity the, book of the Yoruba spirituality. You will find those. Don't there. say Olorun and Oluwa. <laughs> Olorun do marry. So, but when Christianity you, and came. And you will see it in the Bible too. Yes. But when Christianity <laughs> came. And because this person was the one known as the supreme being, the same concept of one God yeah. that, 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 that is above every other deity. When Christianity came, that concept of one God was also presented. And so the and that Allah rule was in the Bible too. <laughs> the same way with Sunday, Monday, these were paganistic yeah, names, names on calendar. Just but when Christianity came, even, because this is what God, people is God in the Bible. You know, it's an English Jesus. Is it is that Jesus not is not the name of Jesus. Yeshua. His name is Yeshua. <laughs> so if we have to even translate it, it should be Joshua. <laughs> By every means, the name you call Jesus ought so to be. So what we Joshua. call God. Why should you say God is not paganistic? God was there before Christianity came to England now. God you are using the same word God. Exactly. <laughs> God was there before the language evolved. Yes. So before Christianity came to England and they knew something to be God. They were using Who yeah. were they referring to? Yeah. 